So this is just a really quick method of creating a perspective lines. If you're trying to create buildings or anything in perspective, um, just just a quick guideline to to help you um, to do that. It's uh, it's a pretty fast way of doing it. So what I'm going to do is just going to create a new uh, a new image. It's going to be 1920 by 1080. Uh, I'm just going to call it perspective, just for the sake of it there. And then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a polygon tool. I've got this. Uh, my colours are very, fairly lurid, kind of purple colour. Um, <coughs> it'll usually, if it's defaulted, it'll be on the rectangle tool. But if you turn it onto the polygon tool, um, I'm going to make sure that the setting is in shape. If I get a shape, then I'll get a shape mask. Um, if I get a path, I'll just get a path. I won't get any fill in there at all. Um, so I need to set my, make sure I've got a fill, make sure that that's on and it's not being struck out like that one there. I don't need a stroke on it. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to create with a hundred sides. Um, and there's two ways of changing the settings for this. You can either click on it, just tap on the screen, and it will give you the width and height and number of sides in there. Um, the most important thing is the indent sides by percentage. So if you indent the size by 99%, what it's going to do is what it's going to do is if you create a star, so it's going to create a star, star. Um, then if you indent the size by 99%, what you're doing is the the points of the star as they go in, they'll come in by nearly the full distance. So um, if we leave it at, uh, no, if you take it to 99%, well let's take it to 50%, I'll show you the difference. So you click OK, just going to scale this up, and you'll see that, um, what you'll see, if I can just turn off the pen tool bit, is it's taken, it's created a star, and the indent is 50% of, from the outer circle into the centre. Okay. So that's what it means by an indent. We just don't need this one. We're going to take it to 100%. So if I click on this and I just tap on the screen, I'm going to take the indent size by 99%. And that what that's going to do is it's going to give me a very um, uh, a very uh, sort of uh, st stretched star shape with these lines. And what I can do with this is I can take it and scale it right up. And there are some basic perspective lines. So I can sort of just decide uh, where my horizon is going to be. It's probably going to be about there. Just going to take this down, leave it underneath there. So, so now I've got this one here, which is my uh, which is what I'm using for my horizon. You can see you can just slot that onto there. Um, so making sure the horizon is the centre of the star, uh, that means that if I... it just means that the, the star is in the right position. If it's up here or it's down there, it's going to cause us some problems. The main thing is knowing where the horizon is. Um, so it can be common throughout because what you're going to need to do is going to have to create another bunch of lines on the other side if we just want to go for a two point perspective for now. So for this one I'm just going to call it perspective, I'm going to call the layer perspective one, I'm going to duplicate that layer and I'm just going to bring it over to this side and you can see how we've got a basic perspective grid in there. And now what I can do is if I want to create a building or something like that, I'm just going to create a new layer and I can just use this as a guide. So I'm just going to use the the lasso tool and just very basically going to take the sides of this and just create a basic two point perspective cube. Let's just bring it down to there and to there. I'm just going to fill this with grey. Uh, so that's one there. In fact, what I'll do is I'll just pop it underneath the perspective layers uh, just to make it easier to see. And I'll create a longer side on this side here. Just watching where those lines are. So I'm just going to create it a bit lighter, oh, a bit, bit darker on this side. 
So by using those perspective lines here, um, I've been able to produce a, 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 a cube which has got two point perspective. Two points meaning that the lines that are converging here are converging to two separate points. Point A on the right hand side here and point B on the left hand side. Now if I wanted to create three point perspective I can just duplicate this again and take this copy, whoops, I'm going to take this copy up to the top and I can create a three point perspective if I pop that in the middle. Now I'm just going to it's going to create, I have to make it pretty big, let's have a look. So that's my three point perspective there. Just going to drag it up a bit. The further I drag up, drag up, the the less acute the angle becomes. Now I can take. Just going to get rid of this cube for a sec. Now I've got a three point perspective. What I can do is, I can use these lines to trace out another side there. It's got a, because it's the three points. I've added this extra dimension uh, up at the top here. It's just adding. It's really giving it a sense of of height as well as as the the uh, the horizon that's going off to the left and the right. So I'm just going to quickly um, fill that in there, and I'm just going to fill this one. Some of it I'm going to have to guess a little bit because I can't have lines in everywhere. Uh, I'm going to pop this one there, and I'm going to work out where's that one going to there. Nope. Uh, let's try that again. Let's have a look. Take it to there and then to there and there. And then just fill it with white or light grey. And again, I can just create a, a quick and easy cube there using those three different points. Um, so, just to review, you can create your perspective lines by using the polygon tool. Make sure when you're creating it you're using shape and not any of the other settings, path and pixels. Just use shape. Make sure you've got a fill that you can see. Um, and in the settings here you can change it, you can use these settings to, to click on star and, and indent sides by 99% or you can click on the screen and it'll give you these options here. Um, and this can just be the basis for uh, your uh, for environments and various different things, different objects that you need to have at perspective angles and it's just quite a, a quick and easy way of doing it.